What's up, people? Got a little uh, new video camera here. Hopefully, this will translate well. So, I'm at day 43 on this section and day 151 on this section. So, this is my first installment of the Straw Bale Garden, and uh, it's gone pretty well. Got a little bit of death that I uh, took care of there. So, that happens. They're indeterminate varieties, but that doesn't mean they last forever. But 151 days, I'm not complaining because I still got a whole bunch of growth. Um, all kinds of little moths and stuff flying around. It's pretty cool. If you look at the height of this thing, it might be, you know, six inches off the ground at this point and it starts at that height so in one growing season basically um, things kind of shrink down it decomposes and returns to the earth as it should but there's still some hardy uh, compost there and things are still thriving that are growing new uh, for example, you know, I've planted suckers in here from these tomato plants. Besides the grass that's coming up that I'm pulling out now. Uh, these suckers are all thriving and surviving. A couple of them are getting a little bigger and they have already got some fruit on them. So that's pretty cool. Um, these lettuces went to seed. And in each one of these pods, pretty impressive. I'll just see if I can show you this real quick. There's a whole ton of seeds in one uh, pod. And I've got quite a few lettuce heads here that have went to flower. So essentially, I'll just go and sprinkle those in there like that. So here's another one another one behind it there's still some flower buds on there so once it dries out I'll uh, start cultivating these seeds harvesting them and saving them still got a whole bunch of tomatoes here changing colors I've harvested quite a few more of these heirlooms and they're delicious I believe these are rainbow tomatoes just so good and meaty not a lot of seeds in them a whole lot of meat in them so that's awesome uh, there's another lettuce that went to flower this is one of these same kind of prolifically growing vining rainbow tomatoes that I put a sucker right in there and it's growing real nice next to this cabbage Everything's looking awesome. Sorry about the noise. There's people working next door and garbage trucks going by and everything. No biggie. Yeah, everything's looking awesome. These stalks on this broccoli are starting to show through. Looking great. This is pretty amazing. <laughs> you got cucumbers already. So that's pretty cool. And I mean, just a ton of blossoms throughout this whole thing it's just insane in there I went and cleaned up the bottoms a little bit and got rid of some of the death just to help the living parts thrive but I mean there's cucumbers hanging all over the place in here all different shapes and sizes so that's exciting some of them have vined up and then sort of wilted over no big deal I mean I overplant this stuff for that reason oh look a little bumblebee flying around love to see that so yeah those uh, cucumber flowers are attracting pollinators which is also very good for the garden this red kale is just prolific and delicious and I've been making a lot of smoothies with uh, my better half the blue kale is starting to come around and look a little bigger I think the blue kale likes space a little more than the red kale I'm just learning as I go 
It's arugula. A lot of people don't like arugula. It's kind of spicy. But I think it's good. It's a little nutty at first. I have a piece right now. A little nutty and then it gets a little bitter at the end with an aftertaste. But definitely good for you. The romaine, looking pretty good. It's been raining really hard, so the insides of this is laying down. And, but I mean, everything's just looking great. Not a whole lot of bugs infesting, infesting everything. So that makes me happy. I'll just take you around this other side and show you real quick. These cucumbers. You look through there, it's just an insane, 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 insane amount. Things full. So I'll be making a ton of pickles, salads juicing these things awesome now before I uh, let you go I'll show you a couple more cool things these are lima beans I've already got a few on there wifey said she likes lima beans a lot so I went and planted some pretty cool got a few of these growing along the fence here starting to produce uh, the green beans haven't done as well as I would have liked. They're kind of just stalled out at this point. They're planted right into this crappy sand here, so that may be an issue. Maybe I should have lined it with some compost along the whole fence, but they're still hanging on and surviving, so maybe they'll survive through this heat and throw some water on them every now and then, but I would have hoped that they've been climbing already and producing beans. No big deal. It's all just a learning curve that I'm learning, little by little. So, uh, yeah. Day 43 and day 151. Looking good so far. No complaints. Eating great. Straw bell gardening. Have a good one. Peace.